Valve is positioned to reduce the impact of cheaters and Counter-Strike like we've never seen before, but will they actually manage to pull it off? My name is Brayden, and welcome to Valve Guides. Cheating in CSGO has been a long-standing issue that has plagued the experience for many years. All right, that guy is definitely cheating. As Valve gears up for the release of Counter-Strike 2, tackling the problem of cheaters is more important than ever to ensure a sustainable, fair, and enjoyable environment for all legitimate players. Maybe so Today, we'll explore the various ways Valve is poised to address this issue at an unprecedented level. Starting with the basic approaches, we'll build up to Valve's new cutting-edge tools that aim to create an unrivaled anti-cheat system for Counter-Strike 2. Let's start off with an improved Trust Factor system. The Trust Factor mechanism in CSGO has been extremely important in distinguishing between and separating cheaters from genuine players, contributing to a less frustrating experience. While what we have now isn't perfect, some players may be surprised at how much of a positive impact the trust factor system actually has. 99.9% .9 of cheats cause red trust. Whether it's the loader of the cheat, or the features that are being used. CS2 presents Valve with a chance to refine the system and take it to the next level. This can be done through a more precise trust scoring and advanced matchmaking algorithms to ensure cheaters end up in matches with other cheaters while legitimate players can enjoy the game as it was meant to be. With a superior trust factor system, CS2 has the potential to raise the bar for fair competitive gaming and establish a more balanced environment for all players. But this only scratches the surface on how Valve may fix the cheater problem within Counter-Strike. Before we get to the really big stuff, we do need to discuss server infrastructure. The quality of server infrastructure is paramount for a game like Counter-Strike, and it's speculated that CS2 might implement dedicated servers for different regions. This feature is especially important for my EU friends out there. Okay, bro. While server selections for different regions may not directly contribute to tracking and monitoring cheaters, their implementation remains vital for a seamless player experience and does offer indirect benefits by improving the overall environment through reduced latency and enhanced communication among players. It's nice when you can speak the same language as each other. And it also ensures that players experience similar levels of latency and ping, which makes it easier to identify suspicious behavior and differentiate it from connection-related issues. Eric, behind, behind! I teleported behind this. One behind us. There's one behind us. I teleported behind. Us. Oh, oh my god, god. Chase cheating, Chase cheating. That's Chase actually cheating. cheating. That is cheating. This ultimately encourages more fair play, as well as more accurate reporting of potential cheaters, theoretically giving Valve a clearer pipeline of data, and we know Valve loves their data. In addition to more robust server selection, sub-tick updates will theoretically help Valve identify cheaters by improving the accuracy and responsiveness of the game's server-client communication. This enhanced precision should make it more difficult for cheaters to exploit discrepancies in the game's timing and update frequency. By reducing potential gaps and inconsistencies, cheaters have fewer opportunities to manipulate the server-client communication in their favor. As a result, sub-tick updates contribute to a more level playing field, ultimately making it more challenging for cheaters to thrive in CS2. Now let's get into the real meat of the issue, VAC Live and machine learning. Recent leaks suggest that Valve is set to deploy a new anti-cheat system called VAC Live with the release of CS2, as tweeted by Aquarius. This new system would likely build off the foundation of VACnet from CSGO and take inspiration from live cheat detection features that we've seen in games like Valorant. Oh, my game? What? Oh, wait, he's no, cheating! I, you I, called it! Wait, so, oh my wait they were God. cheating? Yeah, so they yeah. were cheating. If VAC Live detects a cheater during a match, the match will be canceled or paused. This improvement could drastically enhance the matchmaking experience in CS2, minimizing the impact of cheaters on legitimate players' enjoyment of the game. VAC Live's potential implementation is particularly exciting due to Valve's insatiable interest and ability to compile extensive data on cheating behavior and patterns, especially over the past few years. VACnet's primary function was targeted towards aimbots, one of the more easily detectable cheats. However, subtle cheats such as wall hacks and trigger bots remained harder to detect. This is where machine learning really comes into play. 
Machine learning at its core involves algorithms that can learn from and make predictions based on data. In the context of VAC Live, machine learning would be integrated to analyze vast amounts of player data, enabling the system to identify and recognize patterns of cheaters with greater precision. As Valve continues to collect data on player behavior, the machine learning algorithms would constantly update and refine their understanding of cheating techniques. This is really a battle of data and would make it increasingly challenging for cheat developers to create undetected hacks. As the algorithm becomes more adept at identifying cheating patterns, even the most subtle and sophisticated cheating techniques are likely to be detectable as more and more data is collected by Valve. This dynamic nature of machine learning algorithms would ensure that the anti-cheat system remains adaptable and responsive to new and evolving cheating techniques, making it difficult for cheat developers to stay ahead of the game because, let's face it, Valve is going to have access to more data than the cheat developers will. Though purely speculation, I did see an interesting theory on the global offensive subreddit that stated the reason why Valve allowed the wallhack command to be in the CS2 playtest was so that they could compile data and patterns of players that they were 100% certain could see through walls. Not sure I buy it, but if true, that's some next level crap right there. The introduction of VAC Live in CS2 may also explain why Valve recently removed the Overwatch feature from CSGO, as they could be prepping for the transition to this more advanced system. This would be a major show of confidence by Valve, and it makes me feel all tingly to think about it. It seems that Valve is truly making a monumental effort to combat cheating, which many players believe will make or break CS2 as a game entirely. Please let this be as good as it sounds. With Valve's initial reveal of Counter-Strike 2, they've managed to stir up an immense amount of excitement and anticipation within the community. Although that has kind of suffered over the past few weeks, we need more than a Dust 2 simulator. Valve has said, quote, in just a few months, we'll reveal all the details of Counter-Strike 2 and we can't wait to share it with you. It is easy to read two far into this statement in either direction. Some are ready to assume that CS2 will be perfect upon launch, while others are quick to assume that CS2 will fail to address any real issues and is nothing more than a skin cash grab. As with most things, I think it's safe to assume that reality will meet somewhere in the middle. CSGO certainly was not in great shape during its beta and initial launch, and these things take time. I think Valve's main focus has been to set themselves up to maximize their ability to execute improvements with more efficiency. Counter-Strike has always been about steady progress. That to me is far more exciting than an overhyped launch that fizzles out in just a few months. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay on top of the game. Also follow me on Twitter at BradenUG and subscribe to my personal channel for non-CS related content with the link below. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments whether or not you think Valve will successfully tackle the cheater problem. Be specific. What does success even mean to you here? This has been Valve Guides. My name is Brayden. I'll see you next time. Stay amazing. Thank you.